Hey, welcome back. We're not in the shop today. Today we are out at Arizona Motorsports Park and we are working with the Phoenix Region Solo Group, taking some pictures and we're gonna be running the course later. Two types of pictures that you're gonna typically see at any type of car event. You're gonna find that stop motion where the wheels are crisp and clear, everything is in focus, or you're gonna find that nice ooey gooey blurry background where you focus on the car and you get the movement panned in with the camera. Today we're using a 12 year old Canon T3i with the stock lens or the kit lens. This is a 55 to 250 with image stabilization built in. Nothing special here. It's all about taking the time, getting some practice and really seeing what you can get. So let's talk about settings just a little bit. Your shutter speed is gonna be your primary determiner of whether or not you lock in all that motion in place or you get that ooey gooey background. So to get that nice background, you have to have a slower shutter speed, which means as you look at the car and you pan, you need to be perfectly in line and focused on some contrast point on that car to get the background blurred out. It does help if you have a good um, wide aperture lens, but in this sunlight, we've got direct sun coming on the cars. We're not using much aperture here, especially with a kit lens. What we're gonna do is start at a low shutter speed, which is gonna give us the blurriest possible background and probably a blurry picture. We'll see what we wind up with. So let's give this a shot at, we'll hit it at one over 60. And let's see, our f-stop is at 20. I'm in shutter priority mode. So all I have to think about is the shutter, the camera does the rest. Let's see what one over 60 looks like. On screen, it's really hard to tell what's going on. Sunscreen on my cheeks, sunscreen on here. So on, on screen for you, I don't know, does it look okay? Let's take it up to one over 80 and try this again. Remember, you want to pan with the car. And as you're panning, you're bringing your shoulders, your head, your neck, your hips, everything together in a nice fluid motion. I'm no pro photographer by any means. I mean, all I do is this silly YouTube channel. So take everything with a grain of salt. The most important thing to think about here is getting out and practicing. I've got my kids here behind the camera. This is a fun day at the track. This one's drawn in the sand. What are you doing, Jay? Tic-tac-toe? Yeah, I guess myself. Okay. I'm losing. So just remember, have some fun with it. So now we're at one over 100 and we're f-stop 18 ISO auto. A couple other settings that you can look for in your camera would be your focus settings. So typically when you push the button, it's going to focus. If you go into either your Sony or your Canon, there's gonna be a setting in there for a continuous autofocus, where as that vehicle is moving, you'll get it in focus along the way. On a Canon, that's AI servo. So you go into your autofocus button, you got one shot AI focus and AI servo for continuous. Your next, your next option is continuous shutter. So that means you hold the button and it's gonna shoot as fast as it can. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And with a quick listen, we just snapped off five-ish pictures, I think. If you had a newer camera, you probably would have gotten off 20 in that same time frame. This guy's pretty slow. What that will do is it'll give you more pictures to choose from as you're taking these shots. Guarantee most of them are gonna be blurry. That's okay, this is all about the practice, remember? Even the pros, they're gonna show you blurry pictures sometimes because it just happens. At the end of the day, I like to take the shots individually. It makes it easier for me. I don't have a great post-processing process. So the fewer images I have to go through, the easier that's gonna be on my hard drive later. So if you can find a spot where the cars are gonna be moving in a uniform speed, that's gonna be the most helpful to you. What we have here is a slalom into an acceleration, into a braking zone, so you have sideways motion, forward motion, braking motion, everything to contend with. So you're panning 
might be difficult to set up perfectly. With that, a higher shutter speed. Right now, 1 over 1 25th. We're gonna go up one more time, 1 over 1 60, see where we wind up. And along the way, you're gonna play with your zoom to make sure that you're getting the car inside of the box, and then you can edit everything else later. It does really help if you have colorful items in the picture to really build some contrast. These cones do a lovely job of that. They do get a bit washed out in the bright mid-morning sun. So focus and try to pan with it. Head, neck, shoulders, hips, Get the whole dance move in there. I'm not very flexible, so it's tough for me, but that was one over 160. Let's go up again, one over 200. Let's start to work on freezing the motion. We still have a bit of a blur in the background there. One over 250. Now we're really getting into territory of shutting everything down. Wait calmly for your shot, find your focal point, pan. We're still panning quite a bit, which means that the background, even at one over 250, is starting to blur. We'll go up again. Let's go one over 320. What we're going for is we're really trying to lock that moment in time. Lock the tires, lock everything so that you get a nice crisp picture. There we go, one over 320. You can see that we're really starting to lock it in. It's gonna get easier at the higher shutter speeds to get a overall clear picture. Now one over 400. That's really starting to come into play there. You can see that we've got some motion stopped on the wheels, not entirely but you got a little bit of blur in the cone still, mainly because of your perspective of how close you are. Yep, still a little bit of blur in the background. What this shows you is you don't have to stop it down to one over 60, one over 40 to get that cool picture. Start at a high shutter speed, really practice on getting your panning. That's gonna be the hardest part and it's gonna be the most influential to all the jitters in the shot. Now, in my case, I'm using a center focal point. On the Canon, you can adjust it all around. On our Sony, you can do the same. I wanna put that car right in the middle of my screen. That way I can play with it later. And what I'm doing is I'm letting the car come in into the camera and then I'm trying to make sure to match my speed with it. Sometimes you're a little late when you're talking to the camera to get the other camera to the camera on the camera camera, you know camera? Yeah, we're definitely locking in the motion now. This is one over 500. I can see the driver. Well, that's the passenger. They're holding the camera up. They're not supposed to do that and the wheels still have some motion to them. Let's go up again to one over 640. Oh yeah, background's in focus. Wheels, there is still just a bit of motion. I think most of that is all in my pan. That's the micro jitters that I'm inducing into it. Let's drop her back down, 1 over 160, get back into those pretty blurry shots, if we can get it. There's so much dirt on the lens right now, I can see it in the viewfinder. So that was at 1 over 125th for the green Challenger over there. I'm gonna keep practicing, working with my kids out here. Big shout out to his channel, you should take a look at it. He's gonna give you some more tips on the camera. 
because actually he's been taking better pictures than I have. Later on, you can tune in for the video up here. That's gonna be my lap this afternoon. Hopefully it's my best lap. Maybe it's a crazy lap. I don't know what will happen. We'll see you then.